What's up, guys? Pittsburgh Weiss Schwartz back again with another Rush Rundown for you. This time we're going to talk about Batman Ninja in the English competitive metagame. This will be a quick, concise overview of Batman's strengths, weaknesses, and notable cards that you'll need to know in order to effectively play into it, all in 10 minutes or less. While these videos aren't meant to be totally comprehensive, we've included a lot of information in this video about Batman, so feel free to pause it if we're moving too fast. Let's jump right into it. So Batman was one of the first English exclusive sets that we got, and the set gets a lot of hate. The cards available to Batman Ninja are just too basic, too vanilla, completely outclassed by most other sets and decks in the English metagame. They fortunately do have a little bit going for them in the in the way of reverse denial provided to them by a few cards that I'll talk about in this presentation. Additionally, something to be aware of against Batman Ninja is all builds of Batman Ninja will be trying to reverse you at level one. All they play are Shimakaze at level one on reverse plus combos. The level threes generally do not require reverse. So the first card or cards to talk about for Batman Ninja are those reverse denial tools that I mentioned a second ago. They have access to the Bat Clan here, which the Batman Ninja player can run any number of in their deck. And when you attack one of their characters with Batman in name, they can pay one, sack this, and bounce the Batman to hand, denying your reverse on the Batman that you attacked. Similarly, Gorilla Grodd, when he is frontal attacked, uh, he can pay the cost, pay one, bounce him back to hand to deny reverse in that lane as well. Something to be aware of, the Bat, the Bat Clan does only bounce Batmans, and the correct play against the Bat Clan, if the Bat Clan is in the front row, is to attack the Bat Clan first, since it cannot bounce itself. The next card on our list here is this 2-2 Harley Quinn. This card is the meat and bones of the villain build in Batman Ninja. This card is a 2-2 that sits at 10-5, but also on play lets you choose a villain character in your waiting room and put it into your stock. So effectively a 2-1-10-5, the Batman Ninja decks run this if they're playing the villain build in as high a count as they can afford, usually all four. The next card that we have here is a very spicy one, is Batman Ancient Grappling Hook. This card is used as a tech card to pull up and attack your opponent's back row cards. So the Batman can pull up your Brainstorm, your back row assist, your whatever important card you have in the back row for the low cost of two stock, and then proceed to attack it with another one of their characters. So if you see your opponent playing this card or playing the Batman, uh, Batman deck, it may be a good idea to hold an extra copy of your important back row cards just so you don't get screwed over by losing whatever you have on the board. Our next card on the list here is the Finisher in the Hero or Weapon Trait deck. It's a normal restand combo, pay three, ditch one, doesn't require reverse, gets some power. This card is fairly standard, not super powerful, but be, aw uh, be aware that it exists. If you have some sort of money counter to stop a restander from doing damage, definitely hold that for this card or remove it from the board before it can swing in. Important counters to watch out for in Batman Ninja, both the hero and villain decks, the blue Catwoman here and the green Poison Ivy, both decks have access to waiting room anti-change for different costs. Uh, Batman Ninja has access to a counter that can mill their opponent's deck, so be aware if, you, if your opponent is playing the villain deck that they may be able to mill you to refresh during your attacks and screw up uh, whatever perfect refresh you were going for. They also have this 1-1 one, one Bane gap event that prevents a character from being reversed until the end of turn. So if you see your opponent playing any of those colors or see any of those cards flow into their waiting room, just be aware of the things that they can do. As far as bomb and clear options, the weapon trait deck has access to a bottom deck anti-change bomb, and the villain deck has access to a clock swap anti-change bomb. So additional anti-change options for Batman Ninja that you should be aware of if you're playing against either of those two decks. The most common builds that you'll see, Batman unfortunately is split right down the middle, so you will either see your opponent playing the hero weapon trait deck or the villain deck. Uh, in the case of the hero deck, the Batman deck, your opponent will likely be playing the Batman trial deck combo, uh, simply because the card has Batman in name and can be bounced to hand by the Bat Clan that I talked about a couple slides ago, as well as finishing with the Restander that I talked about. The villain build plays on reverse Joker combo, which uh, is a pretty standard Shimakaze. It gets up to 7k on reverse plus a card, and Harley Quinn, which uh, burns on attack. So in conclusion here, Batman Ninja is not really level lockable, they do have access to a Ricky in both the hero and villain decks. As I covered in both the counters and the, the bomb slides, Batman Ninja has a pretty wide variety of anti-change options in both the weapon and villain builds. 
Uh, the popular build for Batman Ninja varies wildly. Since the set is so unpopular, there really isn't a settled upon build for Batman Ninja, as I covered in the other slide. Book pants for the weapon trait deck and bar gate for the villains. The most valuable card in Batman Ninja by a wide margin is the Bat Clan which prevents the Batmans from being from being reversed by bouncing them back to hand when they are attacked. The set is strong at denying reverses with both Gorilla Grodd and the Bat Clan, and is unfortunately weak all around in every other regard with weaker power crept profiles, even though the set is fairly new. Wouldn't expect to see much Batman Ninja or any Batman Ninja at all at any larger scale event that you're planning to attend, but if you do happen to run into it, be aware of some of the cards that we have outlined here in this video. And that's basically it for Batman Ninja. If you liked this video, be sure to drop us a like or a comment. Let us know how we did. It really helps us out. We'll be releasing more Rush Rundowns every Wednesday, in addition to our usual deck techs every other Friday. Along with these links that we drop at, at the end of all of our videos, we'll also link some sample deck lists for Batman, description below, in case you'd like to see a more in-depth list of what you could potentially run up against at a shop challenge or a regional. And with that, I think we're done. Pittsburgh Y Schwartz signing off. We'll see you in the next one.